Russia is launching a massive combined attack on Ukraine. Russia launched shahids and missiles. Explosions were heard in Kiev and many other cities and regions. Fifteen regions of Ukraine came under Russian fire. Ukrainian local authorities report that air defense systems worked and urged citizens to stay in shelters. According to the head of the regional military administration, Sergei Lysak, the victim was pulled out of the rubble and is receiving the necessary medical care. In total, according to preliminary data, a dozen houses were damaged as a result of the Russian attack in the Dnipropetrovsk region. Two of them were destroyed. An outbuilding was damaged. Aftermath of a Russian Shahid strike on an apartment block in Lutsk has emerged. According to the state emergency service, a residential building on one of the city's avenues was hit. As a result, the building and property were damaged. Rescuers quickly eliminated the consequences of the fire and structural damage in the apartment. They also helped the residents evacuate to a safe place. Infrastructure facilities were damaged and a person was injured in the Kiev region the injured person was taken to one of the district medical institutions and is being provided with the necessary assistance. Damage to private houses was also reported in the Kiev region as a result of Russian drone attacks in four districts. Emergency power cuts have also been introduced in the region and efforts are underway to deploy unbreakability points. Russia is again terrorizing the whole of Ukraine with missiles. The energy sector is in the crosshairs. Russia does not abandon plans to deprive Ukrainians of light. The transmission system operator has urgently introduced emergency power outages. The situation is complicated, and the consequences of the Russian attacks are being clarified. Power engineers are already working to eliminate them, writes Ukrainian Energy Minister Herman Halashchenko. Unbreakability points are being deployed in Kiev due to a difficult energy situation according to Kiev City Military Administration, due to the difficult operational situation in the energy sector and, in particular, on the instructions of Ukrainergo to introduce emergency power outages, it was decided to deploy unbreakability points across the city of Kiev. Power engineers are working to restore power. According to Ivan Fedorov, head of the Zaporizhia Regional Military Administration, Russians killed a civilian man in the Zaporizhia district. The attack took place near a private house. Lviv may experience water supply interruptions due to the Russian shelling until the substations are switched to backup power, according to the mayor of the city, Andriy Sadoviai. According to him, there may also be power outages. No strikes have been recorded in the city at this time. Viktor Mykaita, the head of the Zakarpattia Regional Military Administration, showed how a Russian cruise missile was shot down on the border of Zakarpattia and Lviv regions, which was flying to Zakarpattia. Russia attacked energy facilities in the Lviv region. According to the head of the Lviv Regional Military Administration, Maxim Kozitsky, this caused partial power outages in Lviv and the region. According to the mayor of Lutsk, an infrastructure facility in the city was damaged as a result of the Russian attack. There is information about one killed person. In addition, according to the Ukrainian president's office, Russia is targeting the Ukrainian energy sector again. Emergency power cuts have already been introduced in Ukraine due to the Russian shelling.